So here's the Wilson shift, 300 grams, 99 square inches. Hey all, this is Andy from Times with Andy. So I was really excited today. I got to hit with the Wilson shift and um, I'm gonna leave you my first impressions. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, the Wilson shift is a prototype racket that's in development right now from Wilson Labs. Uh, there are a limited number of shifts available. Uh, the one that I reviewed is a 300 gram, 99 square inch one in the 16 by 20 um, pattern. Um, apparently there are a couple of 315 grams, 18 by 20 um, patterns that are out there for the Wilson shift uh, that are being reviewed as well. So first impressions, um, first things first, it was strong with natural gut in the mains at 52 pounds and Luxlon ALU power um, at 50 pounds. And if you guys have used that, guys slash ladies have used that string before, um, you know that it gives you uh, loads of spin because of the snapback between the natural gut and the um, polycross and uh, loads of power as well. So that's the, the bias in the review. So first of all, I mean, this, this was an interesting frame. Uh, I normally don't like 300 gram rackets. I feel like my forehand, I'm too fast when the, uh, when the weight is that low. But I was timing my forehand pretty well. Uh, the only issue was I was timing it well, but they were sailing. Um, I think that this is due probably to the, the string choice as well. But um, yeah, the, they were sailing along a bit, but it was really comfortable. I was really uh, dialed in. And I'm sure if I use a full bed of poly or if I up the tension, that uh, it would fix the, the, the going long problem. Uh, I really loved doing kick serves with this and I, I felt like I was getting plenty of spin and it was, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's maybe between a blade, the Wilson blade and probably like the ultra. Um, I haven't used the ultra before, but I heard it's like very stiff and similar to like an, an E zone, for example. So sort of like Wilson trying to fill that gap. And the one thing I really liked with this is the 1620, um, pattern. I think that's one that Wilson doesn't currently have. In, uh, I don't think they have that in their current offerings and it's my favorite string pattern. Um, so overall impressions, I loved it on serve. Um, backhands were, were pretty good too. Uh, forehands were nice and I, I felt like I could flatten the ball out or go for spin. Um, the only issue is when I was really flattening the ball out, it wasn't going long. But I think that, as I said, that could be fixed with uh, strings. I didn't volley with this because I was just happy banging the ball from the baseline. Um, I only tested it for a couple of games and uh, a couple of rallies afterwards. But overall, I think Wilson, they're doing a good job. Uh, there's so much intrigue about this. I heard like you, um, for the people who are registered users, you have to like scan some sort of QR code and leave your review uh, with with Wilson <laughs> via some sort of portal. So I mean, I think they're they're really trying to uh, engineer this one to be good for the modern uh, aggressive baseliner. So really good racket. And um, Wilson, if you're listening to this, I think you, you've done a great job. I wouldn't change too much with this um, version. Uh, one thing that you may consider is um, just like Slinko has those uh, five gram or 10 gram butt caps, right? Perhaps uh, put that in just to give people optionality to uh, increase the, the weight pretty easily. But in all honesty, the weight as is was fine for me. The balance felt perfect. And um, I probably would not switch to this one just because I feel that uh, it may still be too powerful, even without um, poly shrinks, full poly bed. Um, I, I tend to gravitate more towards the control frames. But um, great job, Wilson, and uh, I'll let you guys know if I get a chance to hit with it again. All right, this is Andy from Tennis with Andy. Play smart and see results.